Hello, this is Aaron with ANET Computers from ANETComputers.com with another hopefully potential tip for you on solving a problem or issue you are having. This one deals with Microsoft Address Book and I filed this under email client. Microsoft Address Book. Missing Address Book on Windows 7? That's a question. Some users new to Microsoft Windows 7 have noticed that Outlook Express is missing. They might also be having difficulties finding their old Microsoft address book on their new Windows 7 system after transferring their data. Microsoft replaced Outlook Express with Windows Live Mail and your computer may have come pre-installed with Windows Live Mail depending on your operating system distribution. So let's say you upgraded your computer from Windows XP to Windows 7 and then you use their upgrade process where it will it won't delete all your files it will save your profile data pictures videos etc and that might include your address book from Outlook Express well you fire Windows 7 is all finished upgrading and you're like uh-oh, where are my contacts? You're like freaking out, and this is an emergency. You have somebody very important that you need to email or contact, and you don't have their email address memorized, hence why you have an address book, right? So, instead of being SOL, for lack of a better acronym, these tips or this blog post might help. So your computer might also come pre-installed with Windows Live. It, it, it just depends. It, it might not. If it doesn't, then you can download and install Windows Live Mail yourself. If you cannot find Windows Live Mail, you can download and install Windows Live Mail from this link. And I will include a link to my website, anetcomputers.com, with this information so you can quickly find this link. And then also there's another web link further down. So from this Microsoft URL, Windows Essentials, which is basically Windows Live, which includes Windows Live Mail, you can quickly download and then install you can also look at what the system requirements are, operating system. This is for Windows Essentials 2012, which is still current. 32 or 64-bit version of Windows 7 or 32 or 64-bit version of Windows 8 or Windows Server 2008 R2, release 2. And then it gives you more technical details about your processor, memory, resolution, internet connection, graphics card. So continuing on. Once you've downloaded and installed Windows Live Mail successfully, you might have to reboot your computer. You might not have to. Then continue on here. You can then import your old Outlook address book into Windows Live Mail address book by following. Number one, open Windows Live Mail. Then in a lower left corner of that window, click on Contacts. Click Number two, click a file menu, select import, then click a type of address book that you want to import. If prompted, browse to and choose that file that contains the contact information that you want to import and then click open. And then if these quick two instructions aren't concise enough, then click on this other URL link. A short description of Windows Live Mail tutorial on how to export contacts and importing mail and address book is available. So let's go out there and I will go over what it takes in more detail, more concise, with more clarification on how to help you get your address book contacts imported back into Windows Live Mail on your Windows 7 computer. How do I import and export email contacts and calendars with Windows Live Mail? So this just basically goes over and tells you, well, if you're switching hardware or reinstalling Windows Live Mail, it's a good idea to first export everything, make the change, re-import everything. Okay, so back up and restore. You should know that by now. 
back up and restore, back up and restore. <laughs> I, I know most computer technicians are kind of maybe like a medical doctor and they just keep hammering at you, but there's a reason why we computer technicians keep reminding you to back up and restore, back up and restore, <laughs> but especially back up because without a backup, you can't restore. Okay. Before you begin, I'm not going to go over these instructions on how, you know, the backup and restore, but again, I will have this linked on my website on this blog post so you can quickly get to this link on Microsoft's website so that you can read it with your own free time at your own perusal. I do want to go over though, the one thing I did want to go over is Now I don't I didn't want to go over importing email messages. That's not what this blog post is about. I didn't want to necessarily go over how to import offline contacts. But I guess we could go over how to export contacts from Windows Live Mail. And this could this part right here is calendar and then email account. So let's go over this. This will help you because these instructions will help you on how to export and then also really import. It, it's a very similar process. I know that may not make sense, but okay. This is if you want to export contacts from Windows Live Mail. You might have another computer that's running Windows XP or Windows Vista or Windows 7 and you so and you are migrating to another computer or you have more than one computer you you have five or whatever and you want to be able to have that ability of accessing your email on each computer that has Windows Live Mail so this is will be quick steps on how to show you how to export email or excuse me contacts open windows live mail by clicking the start button in the, in windows 7 in the search box type mail and then in the list of results click windows live mail number two in the lower left corner select contacts step number three click export on the ribbon select a file format in the drop down menu if exporting multiple contacts, select .csv. If exporting only one or two contacts, select .vcf. Number five, click browse and select where to save your contacts. Number six, enter a file name and click save. Number seven, click next and then select the checkboxes next to the fields that you want to export. Only selected fields are exported, so make sure to select everything you might want later. And then click finish. You just successfully exported all of your contacts from your Windows Live Mail into one file. Then you just copy that file and then you follow those instructions on how to import. So you just go into Windows Live Mail select contacts. I think you can get there different ways. You can select the go at the top of the toolbar or on the left hand side or wherever it's located. The reason why I say that is Microsoft is known to change their interface. So in the future, you might not be able to quickly use these instructions so that you can get to contacts, just to let you know that. And then once you selected contacts, you want to click import. You want to select import. Click a file menu or if you go to the contacts via Go, there should be a import tool somewhere in there. Then you want to select the type of address book that you want to import. It could be a Outlook Express 6. It could be Windows Live or it could be Windows Mail. So you want to select the proper file. You might you might already have a copy from Outlook Express 6 
your address book. You can import it into Windows Live Mail. And operating system doesn't really matter as long as you've got Windows Live Mail. It'll work on XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8. So hopefully these tips help you so that you can successfully import or export or whatever. So you basically you can recover your contacts, your address book, and get it imported back into Windows Live Mail on Windows 7 and so that you can contact your boss or your significant other or your wife or whoever who is waiting for your message. And if you don't, anyways, you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other potential tips to fix your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening.